Democrats have the chance to win House seats all across the state of Missouri. We've recruited fantastic candidates to run in districts from Webster Groves to Kansas City, and we think these candidates are going to run better, smarter campaigns than they have ever run in Missouri before. But they need your help door knocking and running their field campaigns so that they make sure they reach the voters they need to before election day. They need your help putting up yard signs, they need your help making phone calls, hosting coffees, and we appreciate all of this help. And the help that you provide to these candidates will make sure that a Democratic agenda once more prevails in the Missouri legislature. We can fight back against things like the Missouri Medicaid cuts. More than 700,000 people in Missouri don't have any health insurance. But in order for something to change, we've got to have the right people casting the votes. Under the current administration, things have gone sorely wrong, and it's not until we have different people casting the votes in Jefferson City that anything will be any different. So what's at stake in this election? Our health care, our education, our environment. The stakes are really high, and we need your help to ensure that we get public policy back on the right track in Missouri. Democrats need to win 11 seats in the Missouri House to retake the majority. This is absolutely within our grasp. When the Republicans took over in 2002, they won 14 seats that year. This is within our grasp to take back the majority of Missouri. The House Democratic Campaign Committee is working with each of these candidates across the state, from St. Louis to Kansas City, from northern Missouri to the boot heel, to make sure that we elect Democrats all across the state. But we need your help. We need your help door knocking, making phone calls, reaching out to voters, working on election day at the polls, and your financial support to sweep our candidates over the top and ensure that the Democrats have a majority again in Jefferson City.